In this video, uh, it's going to be my very first ever video from the Rocky Mountains. I'm here in Colorado for the first time ever in my life with my beautiful wife for our 35th anniversary to see the final show of Third Day at the Red Rocks Amphitheater. Man, if you've never been there, I highly, highly recommend it. But anyway, uh, that's not what this video is about. It's about being prepared, um, and that's kind of like the Boy Scout motto, my motto. So. We're, we're driving along up here. We came to this lookout mountain, kind of a scenic place. And there's a sign at the trailhead that says, are you prepared? And it's got a list of 10 essentials they recommend you have with you. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take a look at their list, and we're going to see how well it compares to what I have with me to be prepared just in case in the mountains. So that's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian, and thanks for joining me. So, as I mentioned in the intro, I'm, I'm here in the Rocky Mountains. Actually, I'm here right now. This is the uh, place called the Garden of the Gods. It's just outside of Colorado Springs, Colorado. We took, we've been cruising through the Rockies for the past couple of days, and it's really, really cool. But I um. Didn't want to, you know, we haven't been doing any backpacking or anything, so I didn't really had an emergency pack, but I did think it's important to have some emergency gear. We've been out where there's no signal. We're out in, in the middle of the Rockies. Um, not really out it's super, super deep in the back country, but still if something happened, we'd be a long way from help. So anyway, I've got a trunk kit, and I'm just going to show you what it is. By the way, I rented this really cool hot rod car for our anniversary trip out here, and my wife said I scored some major points with it, so that was good. So anyway, but we'll see what's in the trunk here. And um, I'll show you what I got. So first of all, got a cooler here with uh, water bottles in it. Water's really important. You can never have too much water. Also had a couple of uh, different different kinds of food bars here. Just, and a couple of packs of peanut butter, just in case we got stranded, if something happened, this car broke down, we'd have a little bit of nutrition. And then I've got a couple other packs in here. Uh, what I got in this pack? I've got the uh, Baristuka, whatever, Chiraba Puko knife. Folks, gotta have a knife, right? Got a uh, cell phone charger just in case. And then the sides of this thing, by the way, this is the uh, Maxpedition Envoy, I think. I got my uh, Tow MC2 compass just in case. The uh, Sunto wristband compass clipper fails me it doesn't do a good enough job um I, hopefully I, I wouldn't need this stuff and i have not needed this stuff but be prepared right and this side i've got actually this is just my uh my car keys so i have them when i get home that's all that's in this pack but i did bring another couple little packs um, just in case i've got this one here and inside here i've got a uh, brand new unopened first aid kit and but I'm, this is just like the ones I've already reviewed. And I got a couple of tourniquets and a pin and a whistle, you know, I believe in whistles. And I think that's all on this. This is just this is stuff. If I had to go, um, and a couple of more food bars, if I had to go hoofing it, then I would be um, at least have a couple of packs for me and my lovely bride. And I got a bandana right there. So there's that. And then finally, I have a couple of jackets. Got a rain jacket for each of us. Uh, it gets cold up in the altitude. Got a couple of fleece jackets. I brought my uh, chili hat just in case. Um, in case we ran out of water, I've got the Hydro Blue water filter bottle to have some water because water's critical. And then finally, finally, we're almost done here. I've got my uh, Hidden Woodsman haversack and inside of here. I've got. The survival kit I did another video on. I'll put a link to that video in so there's no sense me showing you everything in here. Also got my Leatherman Signal multi-tool and I have a uh, Garb Mora Mora Knib Garber knife. And then in the different uh, pocket I have so that's it. So what we'll do is since there's a lot of traffic here, when I get back home, we'll kind of over overdub or I'll cut some footage in. We'll talk about to see if I actually had everything that the sign said I should have. So but that's what I have right now. So let's uh, wrap this little segment up and we'll take you back home.
Okay, as you can tell, I'm back here at the Survival and Purpose Worldwide Headquarters here in very muggy Georgia weather. And real quickly before we get into this, I wanted to go ahead and I decided just to, to finish this video at home because I, I kind of wanted to cover the rest of the stuff on the list and didn't want to unpack the uh, this, this thing on the side of the road. It was getting noisy. The wind noise was bad. Traffic was picking up. And I just thought, you know what? Let's just wrap this up and bring it home. So I did. And by the way, it's it was hotter in Colorado than it is here in Georgia right now, temperature-wise. But as they say, I've always heard it said all my life, it's a dry heat, and it really, really was. I mean, it's like 96 degrees, which it, it felt hot, but, man, it wasn't like, I didn't feel like I was wading through a swamp like I am just standing here right now. So, anyway, I digress. So, so let me get this thing back on track and kind of do a little quick recap. So, as I said at the beginning of the video, my wife and I spent a couple days, we're just riding through the Rockies and checking out the mountains near um, Colorado. Um, went up Mount Evans, which is the highest paved road in North America, up 14,000 something feet driving. And that was a complete knuckle clincher for me. I, I'm, I don't know if I don't do well with heights or what, but the road was narrow. It was, it was, it was there was no shoulder, no guardrails, no anything. And it, it, was, it was a pretty nerve wracking ride. But anyway, on the way up there, we stopped it at this little um, place called Lookout Mountain just to check it out, scenic overlooks. And I happened to see a sign that said, you know, be prepared, the uh, 10 things that you need to have with you. And as it so happens, um, since I am Scoutmaster and believe in being prepared, I had already put some emergency gear in the trunk. Didn't think I was going to need it. Didn't have it packed to go backpacking or anything. I just had to make sure I had some stuff with me. Some of it was in the trunk, some of it was in the cab. So um, what you've seen so far is what was in the trunk. Uh, with the exception of, of, of a couple of details. So let's go over the list real quickly. There was 10 things. They had a map and a compass. And as you saw, I had a compass, a couple of compasses, no map, but a couple of compasses. Um, they had the second item on the list was extra clothing. And I had, we had a couple of jackets and some hats. That was extra, our extra clothing. Extra food was number three. And I had some bars and some, just some snack food and stuff. Extra water, we had pl plenty of water and a water purifier filter and a filter bottle sun protection we did have sunscreen in the cab because i did rent my darling a convertible which by the way again did score me some pretty good points a uh, flashlight or headlamp you didn't see that i did have a um in the in, i'm gonna show you now in the uh hidden woodsman survival kit i have both a flashlight and a little headlamp that was in here that i showed you in the video i did about this this um kit which there's also a uh here it is. Just a little headlamp there. That's the uh, black diamond ion. Uh, so that was number five, num number six. Number seven was the first aid kit. We looked at that. Number eight was a matches or a light matches or a lighter. I got that covered six ways from Sunday. I've got a uh, matches in here. I've got a lighter in here. I've got ferro rod. I've got a lot of stuff in here. A couple other water filters too, by the way, in here. Um, tool or repair kit. Uh, not only did I have the multi-tool, the signal multi-tool, but I also had the, uh, this uh, Exotac rip spool, which has got some repair stuff in it. And then finally, emergency shelter, and I did have this emergency tack bivy with me. So I, had, I actually did have their, their list of 10 items covered, plus several more things. One thing that I, I really think you probably noticed, I certainly noticed, was they didn't have a knife on that list. I guess that's from like hardcore ultralight backpackers who don't seem to think you need a knife in the woods. Well, you know me. I had probably four or five different knives with me from the from the uh, Leatherman to the Veristuka Puko. I think I had a Mora Garberg somewhere in there. I had the uh, pocket knife with me. I, you know, I just I had some knives. I think there's also in here there's a uh, pocket Bushman from Cold Steel. Yes, oh why, yes there is. So there she is so plenty of knives in there anyway i'm rambling so i'm gonna wrap this up so i just thought it would be pretty cool to show you that give me an excuse to show some mountains in the background too I'll tell you if you've never been to the rocky mountains um colorado something like that uh, if you can if you can swing it i highly encourage you to go it was a really cool time and it was a great way to spend our anniversary and man i'm as much as i like the north georgia mountains i think i may have fallen in love with some bigger, taller mountains. It's the first time in my life I'd ever been above the tree line. I'm probably gonna do another video, just kind of a montage video, showing, so I took a lot of, a lot of pictures and a lot of video. Maybe I'll put some music behind it or something and, and do that in a couple of weeks. It, it usually takes me a little longer to edit those kind of videos because there's, there's more, I guess there's just more skill involved that I don't have, but 
get away mosquitoes so anyway i just kind of thought this would be a cool video i saw that sign and i thought you know what i'm gonna make a video about that because i thought it'd be interesting to compare what i had already packed in the car with what they said you need and i'm glad that i did actually have everything on their list because i would have been kind of embarrassing if i didn't but i'm also glad that i had some extra stuff especially the knives because i didn't need them but i sure feel a lot better when i have uh, three or four five or six knives with me right so anyway i hope this has been helpful if you are traveling somewhere maybe away from cell coverage or away from the beaten path whether you're driving whether you're walking whether you're riding a motorcycle or, or whether you're riding a horse any any way you want to get there sorry i'm just swatting mosquitoes it's really important i think that you have some kind of kit with you i think it was very encouraging to me to see a sign at the head of the trailhead saying hey be prepared <laughs> they just got my attention so hopefully this this video has been helpful to you and not too much rambling uh, as always thanks for watching survival on purpose i put out a brand new video every friday and every saturday and very often random videos throughout the week you can check out another one right over there and if you're not subscribed please click down in the corner right there and subscribe you can be notified whenever i put out a new video i really appreciate the support once again my name's brian you're watching survival on purpose remember survival's not an accident so be prepared I'll see you next time.